Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? I wish I had videotaped in there. Alright everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a corsage. This is going to be a basic tutorial on how to create a corsage or a boutonniere as the one that you can see here in front of you. I'm going to tell you what the supplies are going to be and uh, the tools that we'll be using and we'll start making a simple corsage for any occasion. Here I have a collection of some flowers and they're just basic flowers. I've got some of these flowers are from Hobby Lobby and some are from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's just a little collection of flowers that I have and I will be using some of these to create a corsage for you. So you will need that. You will also need some ribbons and here I've got some ribbons and I've got about a couple of yards of each of these. These are just some ribbons that I have left over on the rolls and I've gone ahead and I pulled them off just to show you uh, what samples you can use. Anything from a solid ribbon to something sheer and in various widths as you can see here. I've got two different widths and then I've got this other one as well, a nice thin sheer one. So any ribbons that you might have you can use either with or without wire on the edges. That is your choice. We will also be using some floral wires and I've got these two wires here. I've got a 22 gauge wire right here. This is a 24 gauge. Either one is fine. We've got some floral tape and I like to use green floral tape. And I've also got some corsage pins right here. You definitely are going to need those to pin your corsages on. And here are the tools we'll be using. We're gonna be using some scissors, some wire cutters, and I also like to keep these little needle nose pliers to squeeze uh, wires and make them tighter. It's up to you if you wanna use that. All right, so I wanted to start off with some small flowers. So I've got these little roses that I had from a bush that I got from the Dollar Tree. So they're just simple little flowers and I just wanted to show you how you could make something with that. And an example uh, is this uh, boutonniere that I've got right here. It could be a little corsage or boutonniere. It's something small, so I'm just gonna call it a boutonniere. And there you go. So I'm gonna make something like that, but I'm going to make it with a three flowers so we make an actual corsage. So I would recommend that if you have some small flowers like this, that you do use a three, maybe even five if you want to make a completely uh, bigger and fuller corsage. Otherwise, if you have a bigger flower, one flower will do you. You can use some smaller little flowers to accent around it if you like. But uh, if you do have a bigger flower than this, something about, you know, you know, uh, palm size, then you probably just want to use one flower. Okay, we're going to use these three small ones. This is how I'm going to prepare them. I'm going to remove all the leaves from the uh, stems here. And I might use these leaves, I might not. Um, a lot of times uh, I end up using some leaves from some other uh, floral or greenery that I had left over. Sometimes you can buy the uh, leaves separately in the uh, floral store where they have all the corsage supplies. I have some leaves here from another a rose uh, uh, bush that I had and uh, I had left, these were left over and I decided that I like these leaves uh, better than the ones that it came with because these are so shiny and plasticky. They're soft and so forth so they're fine but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and switch them up for these. So if you have any ivy or any other greenery that's small like this and uh, you probably want to use that as a substitute in your corsage rather than using the ones that it comes with. Okay, otherwise they're just fine, no big deal. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, because I'm going to make a corsage, I'm going to grab whichever one is the longest one. As you can see, this has got a really long stem to it. And I'm going to take the longest one and I'm going to trim off and I'm going to make this about anywhere from five or six inches long, okay? And I wanna make it as long as I can, but not any longer than six inches, okay? And uh, that is because I may decide to go shorter, but for now I'm gonna do about, oh, it's about, I'm gonna say that's about six inches, maybe five and a half, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with one of these. I've got these other ones. This one's got a short little stem, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this one about the same size, but I might end up cutting it even more. So anyway, I'm gonna cut that one now. 
So now I've got these three. But I've decided that, you know, this is going to be basically my main flower, if you will, or just the one that's going to uh, decide uh, the size of my corsage. So now I've got these three little leaves, and um, I want to be able to disperse them. But then again, they also look pretty if I just go ahead and, you know, stagger them around like that, the flowers around, and then put the leaves right behind it. So that looks really pretty. So right there, you can decide that, okay, this is going to be how I want my corsage to be. So now how do I go ahead and put all these together? First thing I do, or the second or third thing I do actually, is I get some floral tape. And this is really simple. Take all your flowers and start wrapping around the stem on all of them. Okay, just start, pull on this tape and wrap down, twist it around the stem as I'm wrapping it around like that and then just pull and it comes right off okay so let's do the next one this is the first time that I tried not the first time but I think it's been a while since I've ever I've tried this type of camera angle so I'm trying to keep it myself in the screen here so I'm pulling on the tape because that releases the uh, adhesive on the tape you can't just wrap it around because it'll just come right off so you have to pull on it a little bit give it a little bit of a stretch there and as you're rolling it down you're also kind of pressing it so it sticks and then just pull it and there you go the stem is all wrapped we're gonna do another one right here and then we're gonna do the same thing all right there we go that one's wrapped so now I've got my three flowers all wrapped with green with a greenery tape okay so now we want to prepare the stem and this has got like a really little chubby little part right here that we don't need so we're going to go ahead and trim that off and it's just plastic so if you want to use your crap scissors that's fine i'm using my wire cutters to cut anything that's really thick okay so i've gone ahead and i've snipped that off but this is obviously not a long enough stem so this is where our wire comes in and i'm going to be using this 22 gauge one because it's a little bit thicker than the 24 one that I showed you on the little on this little paddle okay all right so I'm gonna take my my uh, wire here and I'm just gonna wrap it around any any part of the uh, leaf here if you can see that right there and then I'm going to wrap it around this bottom part where it's a little bit of a stem and this is where my pliers come in I am going to squeeze the wire at the very top where it round, you know, it curves around and comes the other way in the other direction. And I'm going to squeeze it. And then I'm going to use it to help me twist everything so it's nice and tight. So now I've got the wire coming down. And I only need it to be a certain amount, you know, certain length. I don't want it to be too long. But I'm going to at least cut at least four inches. So now I've got that on a longer piece. So now it's basically like a little stem on there, the wire. But now I wanna cover all that up because I don't wanna see all that wire. So I'm gonna take my floral tape again, and at the highest point, start rolling it, pulling and twisting, pulling a tape and twisting, pulling and twisting. See, I kinda of pull with this hand. I pull with this hand and I pulled it a little too hard, haha. <laughs> I pull as I'm twisting it. So my, my left hand is actually pulling and my right fingers are twisting as my left is pulling and kind of also pressing the tape down. So you're gonna kinda have to figure out your own little way of doing this, but that's the way that I'm doing it. And there you go. Now we've got it on a taped piece, so it looks like a stem now. And now they're all nice and taped together, but we're still gonna continue using our tape. I'm gonna wait to put my leaves on at the very last. This is my longest stem. I'm going to put this one right next to it, but first I wanna bend this forward a little bit. So give it a little bit of a curve. Oops, can you see that right there? Give it a little bit of a curve so it is actually facing forward on your corsage rather than facing up. So we're gonna face it forward. And then the other one I want it to the right. Sorry, I bring it too close to myself and too close to the camera. I want it to the right, but I'm also gonna bend it outward a little bit. And this is where I wanna tape them. I don't wanna tape them way up at the very top. I wanna tape them somewhere down a little bit, about, uh, it's about an inch or an inch and a half downward from this lower flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape 
and start taping around and get those two flowers together as if they are on one stem, just like that, okay? This is what it looks like from behind. And as you can see, this one's bent a little bit, so is that one. And then you could just twist them and turn them at whatever position you want from there. That's why we do want them to be a little bit long so that you're able to maneuver them. So I don't want them too crowded, so I'm just gonna put them like so. And now I'm gonna put the other flower on this side, which would be the left, depending on how you're looking at it. And I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna bend it a little bit so it's not right up against the other ones. And I'm gonna tape it starting at the same spot where I taped the other ones, or I could go a little bit lower, it doesn't matter. So now I'm just gonna put my tape in there and start wrapping. all the way down and sometimes you can come back up and tape it a little bit more and wrap it some more and make it a little more secure but i think this is fine there we go i've gone ahead and bent them a little bit and shaped them and there you go you can see where that's starting to look like a corsage just like that and it's a little triangle here is what we're creating okay at this point if you have some uh, little tiny flowers that you want to add in you can do so let me go ahead and show you what i mean by that i've got this little stem here that i've got left over and it's kind of sticking to each other but that's okay i'm going to take a few of these pieces and i'm going to cut them off if you decide to put these in i would put them on the individual flowers before i put them all together so then you would do the same thing. You would treat this the same. And if this has a long enough stem, and it does, it has a little bit of a stem, go ahead and put some tape on it. Put some tape on it as well. And then you could take the flower and then tape it onto the flower. And that way you could have an individual little stem. But because I've gone ahead and I've already taped them, I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck one of these in and I'm gonna put it right in the back of this flower. And this is what you can do if, uh, you decide to do that after the fact that you've already started putting everything together. So let's go ahead and just tape it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a piece of tape. There we go. Just a piece of tape like that. And then just pull it around, stretch it. Stretch and pull it around until you've taped up everything and you don't see the end where it ends right there and then just trim off whatever piece and you can use this little piece for something else so you can just save it so now i've added a little bit of a white here to this part to this flower and you can see it right there if we turn it around i'm going to go ahead and add some to this one right here and i've got another little stem i'm going to go ahead and also tape it up there we go just like that and I'm gonna add it to this flower and I'm gonna make sure that it's just a little bit higher than the flower so that you see it from the front. So that's all I'm doing. Get a piece of tape. And just get in there and bring it around. Pull on the tape. Don't pull on it too hard because you'll end up cutting it or tearing it. And then I'll just bring it around. Any bit that's left over, I can go ahead and wrap it around the whole thing because I do have a piece of tape here, and then just pull it and cut it. Okay, there we go. Now I've got some white behind this flower as well. And you could add more or less depending on your taste. There we go, and I could, obviously I could add some more if I wanted to, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it there because I wanna go ahead and add the leaves, and I want the leaves to be behind the big flower. And of course, it's got these two little leaves there, and those are great to fill in this little, this little gaps right here. So I'm gonna put that right about there, but I do wanna make sure that this leaf is higher than this front flower. So there we go, that's where it is. And down here is where they all meet. So that's where I'm gonna start taping, going all the way down. So let's get some tape. So that's basically what it is. You're doing a lot of wrapping around with floral tape. Your fingers are gonna hurt <laughs> after a while, but that, that'll help, that's just what will happen. And you'll just get used to it after a while and then you'll um, get your own little rhythm going and how you do this, so. Anyway, so now that I've got all my flowers uh, put together, now I can go ahead and shape them again and make sure that they're not so 
not too far apart, but at the same time, you know, they're not crunched in together. So this is what I've created so far, okay? Simple as that. This corsage is ready to wear as is. The only thing that I'm going to do here is I'm gonna trim a little bit here because here's where all my stems were meeting at the bottom. But right here, you can see that this longer stem is giving me this little thin point. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. So I have a flat bottom here, a nice flat little bottom. And then I'm just gonna push down the tape and make sure that it's all, you know, down there. Now you could go ahead and tape it one more time all the way around just to make sure it's all nice and neat. Start up at the top, work your way down, and then work your way back up the stem. I'm not gonna put any more tape on this. I feel it's like it's really nice and secure, so I don't wanna put any more because like I said, this is a finished corsage. You could go ahead and just pin it on just like that, the way it is, or you could put some ribbon. And I'm gonna put some ribbon, and I'm just gonna use some regular, um, this is a sheer non-wired uh, ribbon. It's just a simple ribbon, and I'm just gonna use that to create a regular little bow that I've been doing in a lot of my other floral tutorials. So I'm just gonna twist, make a loop, twist, make another loop. And I'm gonna make six loops all together with this particular ribbon. I happen to like this black. I thought it was really elegant to add with those little red roses. And plus, it'll bring up the uh, quality, I think, of the corsage a little bit by adding something a little more um, elegant to my flowers. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this other wire, and it doesn't matter really which one I'm using. I'm just taking turns so that you can see that I can use a 24 gauge and a 22. This one's a 24, it's a little bit thinner, and it's nice because it's great for wrapping around ribbons and getting it nice and tight in there. So now I've just got this little multi-loop bow. If you want, you could uh, trim the edges and at an angle. And a, for a corsage, I don't really do the little dovetail. You're either gonna do flat edges or you're gonna do angles. It just depends on which you prefer. But for myself, I just prefer little angles. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm also gonna take some floral tape. Let me twist my wires all the way down so they become like a stem. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this around and don't worry too much about your bow just start wrapping it around pulling and twisting and pressing and then just tear it off okay so there's my bow just a bunch of loops and now i'm going to place this so that it nests right under these bottom flowers so i want to put it right in there like so and it's right there as you can see and then I'm gonna go ahead and start taping from there, going downward, and as you can see, this wire is a little bit longer than the stem, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim it, but I'll wait until after I've uh, almost finished taping it. All right, so let's grab our tape, and now we're gonna tape the stem from the ribbon down, and I'm almost done uh, wrapping it, so right there's where I'm gonna go ahead and trim that little bit off that wire, and then I'm gonna wrap it, and then just press down on it and then come back up. Again, pulling as you're wrapping it around and then just pull it off and that's it. And then just grab your ribbon and it, like, like, excuse me, since it is on a wire, you're able to uh, then bend it and maneuver it to a nice position. And I'm just pushing it underneath and tucking it under the flowers. And there you go, there's a nice corsage. And there's my stem, it's all nice and straight. You could leave it like that, which is pretty much the look now on corsages, is to leave that stem straight. Or you could bend it and curl it some, if you wanted to do that. You could certainly do that to the stem on the corsage. And there you go. That's a simple corsage. Now on the back of this corsage, I'm gonna put one, maybe two pins, because we don't know how many pins it's gonna take to get it on somebody's top or blouse or if um, it's a little bit near, then you only just need one like that. And I've put one in there back there. And there you go. So use the same idea to create the boutonniere, except that you're only gonna do one flower, add a little bit of white, maybe a little leaf. And in this case, I did use the leaf that came with the bush. So as you can see, it doesn't look so bad. It's actually kind of pretty. I put a little ribbon on there, any ribbon, depending on the uh, occasion, you know, you're gonna decide on your colors. And there you go. So I hope you liked my tutorial and I hope you found it 
easy and that you can recreate this. If you feel that you want a more detailed uh, video to show you some ideas on how to make this for different occasions, let me know. Uh, but this is pretty fine. Just pick some pinks or some yellows or whatever colors you like, or maybe mix and match your flowers uh, to create something for Easter, which is what I was asked to please do a little video. And yes, you're not bothering me. And I believe that was Jill who asked for it. Ms. Jill, you're not bothering me by asking. I do ask that you, peop you, you people, <laughs> you viewers, you lovely ladies and gentlemen, whoever's watching this, to please leave me suggestions of anything that you'd like uh, me to see. And as a matter of fact, I needed something for this Friday. I didn't, have a, I didn't have a recipe or a food video for you, so I'm substituting it with this corsage. Now, I will be doing uh, bouquets and corsages in the future. So now that I know that you're interested in just corsages, if you leave your comments down below, I will go ahead and separate them into a corsage uh, series and then a, um, sorry, a bouquet series and then a corsage series. So that's what I can do. All right, so let me know. Give me a big old thumbs up. I'm giving myself a big old thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Leave a nice comment down below, as I said, and please share on your social medias. That would really help me out. And as always, enjoy. Mm -hmm.